Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we'll be talking about Metronic's new file structure from Metronic version 7 and above. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, before we proceed, of course, you need to have purchased and downloaded Metronic. You can get it from um, teamforest.net. All you need to go, all you need to do is just go to teamforest.net, go to HTML and popular items, and you'll see Metronic get the first one. So just go ahead and download it, uh, purchase it and download it. And once you are done, it should look something like this. This this is the file package that you receive, and all you need to do is unzip it. Once you unzip it, you get three main folders. So we have uh, basically the design, doc, and theme. The design folder is where we keep Metronic's design file, which is based on the, a Figma file. So in order for you to open a Figma file, all you need to do is just go to figma.com and um, just um, sign up and download the app. Um, you can use Figma for free uh, as a starter edition or something like that. So uh, what it does is it allows you to basically just view Metronic or view Metronic's uh, design file. Um, the doc is Metronic's official documentation. So this is where we keep um, all of Metronic's documentation, um, but it's an offline version of it. So if you go to like kingteams.com slash Metronic and you click on the docu documentation or docs tab, uh, what you have in your folder all this here is basically the same thing, but an offline version of it. So all you do is just uh, look for your index and open it up in your browser and you get the same thing, go to docs and you have all of Metronic's documentation offline. All right, let's go into our theme. So in our theme, we have five different uh, versions of Metronic, so to speak. So what we mean by versions is Metronic is basically a, an, an admin theme and we will have five different versions of that same theme. So we have an AngularJS version or just Angular. We have our HTML version, which is the core of Metronic of where all the other versions are based upon. So technically the HTML is like the Metronic default version. Uh, HTML Laravel is basically HTML, but with Laravel or PHP Laravel integrated into it. Uh, we also have a React and we have a Vue version. Now, all these versions are independent from one another. What that means is if you are working on a project that requires this HTML integration, you just use HTML. If your project requires, or if your project you're working on is a React-based framework, then you just use React. You don't need, once you start using React, for example, you don't need to use HTML anymore. Because like, uh, as I mentioned, all these versions of Metronic are independent from one another. So you just need to pick one uh, based on the project or the, the project requirements that you, uh, you're basically building, and then you just work on one of it. So within each of it is uh, what you see is basically the same thing as uh, what you've known from that uh, particular framework. Like Angular, you have all the uh, scaffolding files, all the main packages are ready for you to go if you want to have an Angular uh, build. Same goes with a Laravel build. Uh, everything is all ready made and ready to go. And same that's uh, basically translated to React and also to Vue. Now, uh, as you can as you can see, some of the other versions doesn't have as many demos as our default. Our default has ten at the moment. Um, but this is an ongoing process. We just released this few uh, new versions. Uh, Angular has been with us for a very long time, but um, like Laravel, React, Vue, they are relatively new. So uh, it's an ongoing process. We'll be adding new demos as time goes on. Same goes with our default HTML uh, uh, version. We will also have more demos coming soon. Now in our um, default HTML folder or version, we have all of our demo, uh, all demos right here. 
how you can see the demos is you can just look into your uh, official documentation, whether the online or offline version, doesn't really matter. You have all these demos here, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and all these 11, 12, as mentioned, they're all coming soon. See, we have quite a fair bit of demos planned coming soon, so uh, keep that uh, in mind. And do not worry to about sort of like uh, adding or putting more money into this investment after you purchase Medtronic. All these demos is will be available to you the moment it um, gets updated. So for example, if you purchase Medtronic now, you get demo 10, uh, or it's 10 demos. And then when maybe sometime in the future, we will release demo 11 and 12 and whatever, and you get all these demos basically for free. So you can just browse um, all the uh, demos here. Uh, you can just click on the HTML to view the HTML version and and just preview Metronic 7 and for where it is. So you can just browse and everything will be here. So what, what I'm showing you is technically this uh, demo 1 because we're talking about demo 1 right here. So in demo 1, we have two folders, which is the this folder and the source folder. The this folder is where we have all of our HTML files. So we have our index. So if you open our index, actually technically it's this, this file right here, demo one slash index. You can look at here. So if you open this, for example, you get the same thing. And then in here, we have also our um, other like file uploads and forms and other uh, pages within Metronic, which is something like this. So if I go to wizards, click wizard one, I'll see a wizard page and this wizard page will be located in this path. So you, all you do is go to, um, go to custom, this and go to pages, wizard and wizard one. You open this and you get the same page. Technically they're the same page. Okay, so that is this and in this, uh, this folder, we also have an assets, and these assets are uh, technical. Not say these assets are compiled assets files that you get from the source folder. Now, what is the source folder? This is the source folder right here. In each demo, we have a source folder as well. In the source folder, we have our JS files, our media files, our plugins, and SAS. Now, in our JS files, we have our components, which is all of our components that is used within Metronic. Uh, our layout files, uh, our layout scripts for specific um, demo, we have different layouts because if you have a look in our demos, yeah, right here, all of our demos has a significant, uh, different, significantly different layout. Like we have an aside, a left aside here. We don't have it in demo two. We have it in demo three, but it has an additional, uh, like a toolbar, site toolbar. And then in demo four, we have a mini fight one, and demo five, and, and basically uh, so on and so forth. It's all different. The, the layouts are different. So we use this um, lay layout, uh, JS layout to initialize our layout. Pages is our, our pages. We have our widgets, our features, and, and um, custom pages, like our wizards to do projects and so on. These are specific JS files that Metronic uses for those specific page, for those specific pages. And then we have plugins. These are the additional plugins that uh, we, we've included within Metronic that you guys are free to use. Um, the reason why the plugins are here and not in a node modules folder is because all these plugins are not included within the NPM package uh, manager. So what we do is we just add it into this plugins folder for you guys to just use and deploy it on your projects whenever you need to. And then comes lastly, we, our SAS folder where we have all of our SAS files. So it has similar layout or similar structure as our JS. We have our base, which is we have for functions and mixins. Um, for Metronic, we have our components. Like you can see, we have our accordions, our data table, our grids, and so on and so forth. Our layout, this is for our header. I mean, this is, again, specific to this particular, uh, particular demo. So if you look at demo one, you will see this. If you look at demo two, uh, for this example, you'll see maybe different things. So you go to SAS, you go to layout, 
you can see the the list of sas files is a little bit different because like i said each demo has its own layout and we have our pages so each page will have its own customized sas files so what it does is it will customize uh, specific things within Metronic, like uh, specific uh, third-party plugins to make it um, fit within the Metronic look and feel. And um, as I mentioned, like what I mean by using, uh, taking third-party plugins and make it fit, it's like this, like all this, like Bootstrap Date Picker is a third-party plugin that we've integrated into Metronic, but um, the default look and feel does not really match uh, Metronic style. So what we do is we add this SAS file um, to customize the third-party plugin for uh, to to fit the whole theme, and also this all this all these SAS files is free for you to edit, modify, and deploy whenever you uh, feel like it. So that is our demos. So all our demos will have the exact same structure with a dist, which is all of our HTML. The assets, we don't have to worry at this point of time, simply because assets are built within uh, Metronix using Metronix build tools. Uh, so we, what it does is whenever you build something, it will generate all the assets within here. So we don't really need to worry about that. What you need to worry is the source because how Metronix build things is it will, gra it will grab all this um, um, files from the source folder, compile it, bundle it, and do uh, necessary deployment to segment or separate certain things and then um, push it to the disk assets. So this is technically an auto generated folder. All we need to worry about if you want to customize is the source folder. So now coming back uh, to the main HTML, after all the demos, uh, you see a tools folder. Now a tools folder is a shared or yeah, it's a shared tools where you can use Metronix build tools across all demos. So for example, we in our tools folder, we have our gulp, our gulp config, and of course our gulp file to basically run the, the gulp um, uh, functionality. We also have a webpack build. So we have webpack files for all of our demos and our plugins or right here within webpack. So let's go back. Okay, so that's about it for this video. This video is basically to introduce uh, Metronic's file structure. And I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give us a like. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time when we release our next videos, you'll get an update. Um, please subscribe to our, or please follow us on our social medias like Twitter and Facebook. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.